Hello and welcome to Vaughan Public Library's online 3D certification course. The purpose of this course is to teach you the basics of how 3D printing and design works, and also to prepare you to use 3D printers at VPL. In order to become 3D certified and make use of the library's 3D printers, you must complete the course and final exam with a passing grade of at least 70%. Now let's get started. This workshop will be divided into four components. We will begin by giving a brief overview of 3D printing and design in general, including where to get your 3D files online. Next, we will define common 3D printing terms, followed by a discussion of tips and common problems in the 3D design and printing process. And finally, we'll explain how you go about using VPL's 3D printers in Branch. 3D printing describes the process where a 3D object is created from a digital file. The digital file is then imported and formatted into the printer's software. The object is created through additive manufacturing. Plastic is fed through an extruder, which melts it at a very hot temperature. The melted plastic is extruded in very thin layers, laid one on top of the other until the final shape is realized. The plastic then cools to form one solid object. There are three different ways to get 3D files online. 3D files are created through computer-aided design or CAD software. You can either A. Create your own files using 3D design software. B. Find files online that other people have created and have declared public use. Or C. Use a 3D scanner to scan a real-life object that can then be printed. Tinkercad is a free online resource that we recommend for first-time 3D designers. All it takes is an email address to create your free account. From your account, click on Create New Design, and this will take you to a simplified CAD building space. In the center you see your work plane, and on the right-hand side is a menu of drag and drop shapes, letters, numbers, and characters. All you need to do to create your first item is drag and drop your desired shapes onto the work plane. You can change your view to see your object from all angles, and we're going to attach them just so. And there we have our first 3D shape. Tinkercad offers you plenty of tutorials and lesson plans to help get you started. There are various websites that offer free downloads of public 3D creations. We recommend using Thingiverse, Umagine, Sketchfab, and My Mini Factory. As an example, let's do a search for a pen holder on Thingiverse. Of the thousands of the designs, select the one you like best. You can see pictures of a real 3D printed creation from all angles, as well as comments from other users. To download, click on Download All Files. If you have a 3D file that needs editing, we recommend using the tool Mesh Mixer, when more simpler platforms like Tinkercad aren't enough. Mesh Mixer can be installed onto any computer for free, and it is a great tool to clean up designs, split them into different parts, and fill in cracks. As an example, we are going to make some changes to this 3D scan by using one of the sculpting brushes to fix the hair. When you're done with your editing, simply click on Export. If you'd like to learn more about 3D printing and design, use a free resource lynda.com from the library website. From our homepage, vonpl.info, go to Books and Resources and then Articles and Research. Click on L to filter through, and once you see lynda.com, click on Available Online. If you're using this away from the library, you will be asked for your library card number and PIN, from which you can create a free lynda.com account. If you'd like to see the course options, hover your mouse over Library, and then click on 3D and Animation. It offers a variety of courses about 3D design, from editing your files to 3D scanning a person. To continue on in the 3D certification course, click on Part 2, 3D printing terminology. 